Call the member for Northern Tableland. Mr Temporary Speaker, I bring to the attention of the House uh, the strong desire and unstinting efforts uh, of the Glenelg community to have a helipad constructed adjacent to its local district hospital. This desire, Mr Assistant Speaker, has manifested itself into a community campaign and, typical of the Glenninus spirit and its pragmatic approach, an outpouring of donations to raise the funds required to see the helipad constructed. This campaign has my absolute full backing, and I am now appealing to Hunter New England area, Hunter New England Local Health District to end the obstinance and get behind the project too. Currently, uh, there is nowhere for helicopters to land at the Glenninus District Hospital. When helicopters, whether the Westpac rescue helicopter or aerial retrieval, have to bring in um, injured, uh, injured people or take people to the larger district, uh, larger hospitals, say at Armidale or Tamworth or John Hunter in Newcastle, they have to land down at Wilson Park, the netball fields, about 500 odd metres down from the hospital. It doesn't sound like a large amount of distance, but it is very inconvenient particularly when every time a chopper lands and a patient has to be delivered to the, to the hospital from the chopper or to the, to the chopper from the hospital, they have to engage the ambulance <coughs> service in New South Wales to transport the patient. It comes at a cost to the local uh, hospital, to the local health district, but it also takes those valuable ambulance resources away from their frontline uh, capability. In, in essence, the community demands and it's entitled to have a helipad built at the Gleninus Hospital site. Uh, Mr Assistant Speaker, the Gleninus community has been fundraising for this helipad for around two years. So far, uh, or so far the community has raised a little over $80,000 for the helipad. I must pay tribute to Jan Sharman, the president of the local hospital auxiliary, uh, and her daughter Elizabeth McCarthy, who is the treasurer, and all members of the auxiliary who have already $40,000 on a fixed deposit in their bank account earmarked for the hospital helipad. And they also hold nearly in another account almost $40,000 again, $39,752 from a number of donors in the community. The Glenninus community are incredibly generous. Uh, some of the organisations that have been supporting the push include the Glencloe Sports Club, $500, staff of Glenninus Seven Council, $408, Year 12 students at Gleninus High School raised $644.80. The Christian Life Centre, the, the Club Hotel at Emmerville, KCL Childcare, Gleninus Red Cross, Gleninus Quota Club, Rotary Club, the National Servicemen's Association, the Gleninus Quilters, the Men's Shed, the Opportunity Shop, uh, among many groups that have put their shoulders to the wheel to get behind this cause. It is typical of the spirit in the Gleninus community. The Glenninus Lions Club have committed a substantial sum of $30,000. However, they're not willing to contribute it until they're assured by Hunter New England Local Health District that this project will proceed. And they're not alone. There are many anonymous people, there are many people in the community that wish to remain anonymous that are willing to donate if they're given, if they're given an assurance this project will go ahead. I've had, Mr Assistant Speaker, over 10 different uh, conversations, <coughs> emails, letters, items of correspondence with Hunter New England uh, Local Health District regarding this issue. Uh, to assist the situation, they did commission a, a feasibility study last year, which came back with the figure that for the community to have its helipad, it would cost $600,000. Now, I'm not one for using unparliamentary <coughs> language, but it's fair to say that's absolute bollocks. Uh, there, is, there is no way that a helipad will cost $600,000 to be built at Gleninus uh, District Hospital, considering the fact we're constructing one for under $100,000 60 kilometres down the road at Gyra at their multi-purpose service. So, um, you know, the, that's not correct. Um, the, um, the Hunter New England Area Health Service and its CEO, Michael DiRienzo, has said that they're more than willing to work with the community to resolve any issues and see this project go ahead. Uh, they, they want to now move to a concept design phase, which is going to cost, they estimate, around twenty dollars to $25,000. Well, my message and my plea to Hunter New England Health Concrete District is plan. stop putting barriers in the way and get behind this project. Put, do the plan, 
pay for the plan, get the designs, the community will fundraise the money, the community will find local contractors to build this helipad, and it will be much cheaper than the $600,000. Uh, Mr Assistant Speaker, the Glenners community is a great community. They have my full support and I will continue fighting on their behalf until we get this helipad built.